Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I would like to show you how easy it is to bring devices using Node-RED on a local device to Datacnic. For this example, I'm using a REC wireless uh, Raspberry Pi case. Usually that is like a LoRaWAN gateway, but right now we are just using the Raspberry Pi encapsulated in here. And on this Raspberry Pi, I'm running Balina OS as the cloud management service. Um, and on this device, there is a Node-RED installed, a Node-RED container, and we can open up Node-RED locally on this local network where I am right now. Um, this is the newest version of Node-RED, um, and that's what we need. Let's start with um, adding some devices to Datacake. So I also created a new and empty workspace on Datacake. And in here, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new device. Um, in this case, press on Add Device at the top right, and this will open up the device model. And on here, you select API as the device type. The next thing that you need to select is um, the Datacake product. So every device on Datacake belongs to a product. And you can add more than one devices to a product, and they all look the same, behave the same, have the same dashboard. There are different options available, like new product from template. We provide different kinds of template, but in this demo, we want to create it from scratch, so completely new product. Next, we need to provide a name for that product. We call it Balina Node Red Demo. We press on Next, and this will ask us for the devices that we want to create. Right now, we are just creating one device. So we leave, you could add different devices in here, but we want to just create one device. Serial number will be left to auto-generate, and this is the Balina device 01. We press on Next. Datacake always supports up to two free devices. So we're going to select one of those free devices. We press on Next, and this will add the device to Datacake right now. And if we open this up, just simply click on the list you can see okay this is an empty dashboard and we're now going ahead and defining some kind of things on this device so first of all let's go into the configuration of that device let's scroll down um, to the bottom until we reach to the fields section because this is an empty and new device first of all we need to create fields on the database we're going to do this right now for um, the type is float and we want to store a temperature we press on add field. We also want to store humidity, for example. Select this, press add field. And we have set up these two fields in here. So right now there is zero at the current value because there's no data yet. But first of all, before we connect Node-RED to Datacake right now, let's scroll to the top and select dashboard. As you can see, there is no dashboard yet. What we're going to do is we are going to create one. So we activate this edit mode in here. We press on add widget. This will bring up a widget selector. And in here you select value widget, press on data, select the temperature field, provide a unit. And optionally, we can also provide a circular gauge. Um, let's scale this to zero cold and 40 degrees warm. We press on save, add this to the dashboard. I'm going to duplicate that and then and edit once more into data. Also do this for humidity. Um, change the unit, the gauge, which is now one to zero to 100. Um, this is very humid and this is super dry. We press on save. Exit the edit mode, edit mode, and now we've created the dashboard, but still there's no data. So what we are going to do now is we are going to um, connect the Node-RED running on that Raspberry Pi to Datacake. First of all, we need a token for that because we want to use our API integration. And what we need to do is we, cre we create um, a token. We do this in the members section. In here, we do have the API users. We create a new API user. We call that node red API user, for example. And we only have to give permissions for recording measurements. So we just need to click that button in here and select this can record measurements. This makes sure that the token we're just creating has the right to record information on the devices in that workspace. To finalize this, press on save. This will add the token to the workspace. You press on show, select it, and let's copy it. So now it's time to go back into the device and also to the Node-RED that is running on this Balina Raspberry Pi device. 
And in here, what I've already done before in the palette, you can see there is this data kick nodes. So if you have set up your Node-RED directly on your device, PLC controller, whatever, there are open source Node-RED data kick nodes available. Uh, let's have a look at here. This is what we are providing. And they have been installed already into this on this Node-RED. So let's scroll down on the sidebar and you can see there's two nodes. It's data kick in and data kick out. So now we are going to use the data kick out node. We drag and drop two of them on the screen and press um, or double click on the first one, add a new data kick configuration. And this is the place where we now need to provide the token. So we paste this in here, click on this, wait a few seconds, and then we can select the Node-RED demo workspace. We press on add, and this automatically searches for all the devices that are available in this workspace. And as you can see here, this is the Balina device 01. We select it and it automatically also finds all the available um, measurements. We select temperature, we select done, and we are going to do that for the second node as well, Balina device 01, humidity, done. And now we connected the node red to the data cake device. That's all we need to do. Because we're going to simulate data as there's no external sensor attached, I'm going to use an inject node. Um, also drag this two times, connect it with both of these nodes. And let's, first of all, this is temperature, create, um, yeah, like a number, which is 23.05 degrees Celsius, for example. And this is humidity, so I'm going to select the number once more and 65.454 degrees, no, not degrees, percentage humidity. Press on done. And now we need to deploy these changes that we've just done to the node red. And you can see here, this indicator means it's connected. I'm going to detach this a bit from the browser window and select the dashboard in here. So it's still offline. We can see the dashboard and there's no data yet. So let's go back to the node red, move this a bit to the bottom. And now if I click on this, Actually, we also can use a debug node so that we can see what is coming out of here. Um, let's deploy this once more, go into the debug. And now when I press on the inject nodes, as you can see, the number is here on the debug and also on data gig. And now I'm going to do this once more for humidity and then humidity is automatically being transferred to data gig. Let's connect this to the tabs. Um, let's go into data gig also here. Um, you can see the device is now online. And this is it. This is how you connect Node-RED to data cake. And if you now go ahead and, for example, select um, or go into the configuration and you add another field for, let's say, battery voltage. So just simply call that battery, press on that field. Um, and we can go back into our Node-RED and just simply drag and drop another output node and just simply select Node-RED. Valina device, and it has the battery in here. And we're going to create a new inject node, of course, just to monitor, connect it into here. And then we can say, okay, this is number, it's 3.45 volts. I'm sorry, this was German notation. Of course, it's dot. Um, we can press a deploy, and we can just simply send this to data cake. And as you can see here, the battery voltage has also been recorded. We can go also into the dashboard, create a new widget, value widget, select the battery voltage. Um, I'm not going to create a gauge and just, yeah, make it a little bit larger. And that's it. That's how you connect Node-RED to DataCake. Super easy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us. Um, use the live chat feature below and we are going to help you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.